In today's video, we're going to be going over how you can make your very own main character for your RPG Maker MZ game. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials, and just general discussion about RPG Maker, then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now, just a few housekeeping things. If we go over into the database manager, which is this button up here, then come down to system one, you'll see there's a whole bunch of options here, but the main thing we want to focus on is the starting party. We've got Reed, Michelle, Casey, and Elliot. We just want to delete all of these. And you'll notice that whenever we've loaded into game in the previous tutorials, we've had the characters following us. If you don't want that, all you need to do is right down here where it says show player followers, just turn that off. And that way, your party members won't follow you. Hit apply and then OK. Now to get started making your very own character, we're going to jump into the character generator. Here you've got a bunch of different options where you can change the hairstyles the eyebrow types, any sort of facial markings, and a whole range of different things you can do to make your very own character. So I'm just going to make one now, and you can follow along in the engine as well if you like. Now you can change the different face shapes as well as the skin tone. Because she's living on the coast, and this is a coastal town, we're just going to give her a bit more of a darker skin tone to show that she's got a bit of a tan. Now we'll change her hair colour. I'm a big fan of this light or dark red colour here. And now we'll change the front of her hair. Scrolling through, you see we have a range of different options that we can use. Clicking over to rear hair. That's cool. Let's see if we can do something with the front hair again. That's a pretty cool hairstyle for our character. Now over on ears, obviously we can change that. Change your eyes, but I think it looks a little off at the moment, so we're just going to move them down a bit, which you can do with this offset button. And the same with the eyebrows, we can change those, and we'll just offset them down so they're a lot closer to her eyes. Changing the nose, the mouth. I won't give her any facial marks, or beast ears, or tails, or wings. Moving on to clothing, let's see what we have. When we change the clothing up here, it's going to change the clothing in her face image as well as all of her sprite images as well. I think this one here looks pretty cool, so let's mess around with the colours. This nice dark aqua colour should work. We can give her a cloak, but we'll leave that for now. And for accessories, we'll just give her a small stud earring, and we'll leave that one as is. So there we have, we've visually designed our character. Now how do we get this into game? First of all, what we want to do is down here on the left hand side, firstly we want to save the settings. This will just save it as a .json file so we can say main character. I say character because it's how I learned to spell it. And now we can load this preset up whenever we want. Firstly, we want to export our battler. This is the thing that's going to show up when you're in the battle screen. And we'll go into the battles in another video. So we want to export that, and it's going to automatically take you to the file with images and SV actors. We're just going to save this one as A underscore main character, and close that. Then we've got this little damaged icon here, so if ever she's damaged and you want to depict that, we'll export that as actors underscore damaged. Then we've got this walking sprite right here, so we can simply export that and as I was saying, when you hit export, it goes to the specific folder where it's required. So we'll just name this A underscore main party. Then finally, we've got the face image. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up with a name for this girl right now. I think the name Ashula sounds great. So we're going to export that and call her Ashula. Now I can close this. Um, something else we can do to add a bit more depth to our characters is we can now go over to the mouth, have it facing down. Then the eyebrows, we can have them in a frown. And now it looks like she's a bit mad. So if we go back into face image and we import Ashula, we can see we've got a happy face, now a frowny face. And we'll just export that as the same thing. It'll ask if you want to save over it, just say yes. But once we're done with all of that, we can exit out of this and then click this database tab up here and go to the very first tab which is actors. Now you can see we've got all our party members here. These are the ones that come preloaded with RPG Maker MZ. What we're going to do is change the maximum down the bottom from 8 till 9. Click on that one there and you'll see it's empty. So we're going to load up the face by double clicking here. And as you can see we've got Ashula, the one we've already saved. So we'll click on her face. As for the characters we've got 
A main party, so there's Ashula's character sprite, and as the SV battler you've got A main character, and there it is. So we'll just name her up here, Ashula, and her nickname is Ash. Now we can decide what level she starts the game as, so we can make her level 3 at the start, level 5 at the start. We'll go into much more details on what this means in the next video when we talk about creating classes. But you can decide what level she starts at and what her maximum level is. And then here you can click a range of different classes. So from Swordsman, Sorcerer, Priest, all of that sort of stuff. These classes are over here under the Class tab and they've got their own different metrics involved with them. We'll be changing this in the next video. So for now we're just going to make her a Swordsman. And with her starting equipment, this is where you get to choose what equipment she has. So she starts with a short sword, a buckler, bandana, some linen clothing, and a magical ring. So whenever she gets loaded into game, she's going to start with this equipment. Over here in notes, this is where you can call plugin events. Now there aren't too many plugins available for MZ at the moment that have much to do with the characters, so we can go into that in a later video. But for now, the most important thing to remember is that this part here, it's not for notes as in this character likes chicken or whatever. You can do that. But this main thing is for plugin calls. Over here in traits, you can select a bunch of different traits that are specific to this character. Now I'm going to leave that empty for the moment because if we pop over to the classes tab, you'll see that the exact same traits are available here. So I usually like to base my character's traits off their class traits. If you wanted a swordsman, and if we look over here, swordsman has a critical rate of 10, but you wanted your girl to have a critical rate of 15%, then that's when you'd add this in. So that's different to her original thing, which is 10. Now over here, it's 15. And just finally, going back over to the systems tab, we deleted all of the actors in the starting party before, so now we're just going to add her back in. And there she is right there, Ashula. So if we hit OK, Apply, and load into the game. Now you can see Ashula is in the game. That's our little character there walking around. If we go into the menu, there you can see Ashula is with her menu stats. Now I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and you're out there making your awesome characters with the character generator. Join me in the next video where we discuss how to make a custom class for your character.